Hi, this is Ankit and this is an unboxing of the latest gadget that I bought. It's been a while since I bought a gadget actually and it feels really good for it to be a camera. The Sony Vlogging Camera ZV-1. So I'm going to talk to you about why I bought this vlogging camera. I mean, apart from the fact that I really, really wanted it. Uh, but why it makes complete rational sense uh, to buy the Sony ZV-1 for someone who is a content creator. What I've got here is, of course, the creator's kit. So this is what it looks like inside. You've got the camera box itself. If you don't buy the creator's kit, this is pretty much what you will get. And I think this is fantastic value for money for about 67,990, about 68,000. Uh, without the creator kit, I think the Sony ZV-1 is retailing for about 56,900 or 57,900. I could be wrong, but check it out online. Um, so that's your camera itself. Quite compact. It is, after all, a compact point and shoot camera. What you get is this fantastic Sony Bluetooth grip. It's called a shooting grip with wireless remote commander. Really boring name, but really cool, effective gadget and device. Um, and of course, ta-da, you also get a battery. Is that an additional battery to the one that's inside? Let's see. All right. Oh, wow. I get two batteries, which is awesome. This is the X-Type battery. And uh, two is great because when you're really um, out there, out and about shooting videos, and you run out of juice considering uh, the battery is not removable to charge and you need to charge the entire camera. This is good. So let me run you through the process of shortlisting why I decided to buy this. Uh, now that I don't work for any phone company and I can buy any phone of any brand of my choice, um, I really considered going for, let's say, or I explored um, the iPhone 12, 12 Pro series as well. And here's um, what really worked in favor of the iPhone and what did not work in favor of the iPhone. I hope you don't mind me doing things and talking, right? This pandemic has taught all of us to be multitaskers anyway. What works for the Apple iPhone is the fact that it is a phone. <laughs> I mean, you can do all the amazing things with phones that you can't do with cameras, like making calls, like checking social media, talking to, chatting with your friends, etc. right? Uh, and it also has an incredible, incredible camera. Now, the only reason I would consider the iPhone is for its videos. On any smartphone in the world, I think the iPhones produce the best, smoothest, creamiest quality of videos. And with Dolby Vision on iPhone 12, that is just a whole new level, right? But yet it's still a phone and the phone sensor is really, really tiny. And if anybody knows anything about photography or videography, then a big part of how your image actually looks is totally dependent on the size of that sensor which is why I started considering this then. Now the ZV-1 has a one inch sensor. Now I'm very familiar with the Sony one inch sensor because I bought a Sony RX100 Mark III and I absolutely loved it till a point that I dropped the camera and the motor, the lens motor malfunctioned and it wouldn't zoom in, zoom out. And the cost of repairing the camera was the cost of a brand new Sony RX100 Mark III. Um, but uh, so the one inch sensor is fantastic. It comes with f1.8, that's super bright and super wide aperture. f1.8 to f2.8 is basically what you get here. You get optical zoom of 24 to 70 millimeters. Uh, optical zoom makes a world of a difference for optical quality. So that's the box itself that I'm unboxing. And the SD card is just uh, stuck here. Considering I was primarily looking for a video device, a video camera, the iPhone would have made sense but it's also quite expensive you know i have an iphone 10 which is what i'm filming this on and so if i would have given the iphone 10 in exchange you have a trade in now right i would have gotten 28000 rupees for this iphone 10 and that would have shaved off 28000 rupees from the price of a 128 gb iphone 12 which otherwise costs about 90000 rupees so i would effectively give the am same amount of money for um, the iPhone 12 128 GB as I am for um, the Sony RX, the Sony 
I'm going to keep calling it Rx because it literally looks like an Rx. Okay, we've got some paperwork here. Um, warranty, surety, product information. I have to go and register this on the website. This is a reference guide. Just putting this out here. Hey Tofu, you want to join me? There's an instruction manual, of course. And then you have the box itself. Okay, I hope uh, Tofu doesn't jump onto this. This is the windscreen, which is also known as Dead Cat. You get a USB, micro USB cable, um, because this has a micro USB port that you charge this with. This is the uh, windscreen. I'm going to show you where that goes in. And there's the camera itself. A lot of this is ASMR. Ooh, hello, beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, wait, let me see if there's anything else of consequence in here. Well, of course, there is the battery. So that's amazing. I get two batteries thanks to the creation kit. Okay, this goes there. This box goes there. I think the knife can go back into its case. And, um, ooh, this is beautiful. Compared to the RX100 Mark III, which is the last RX100 camera I've used, this is beautiful. Yes, meow to you too. Come here, why don't you join me? Come here. You're happy about my camera purchase? Come here, Tofu. Come. Yellow Come sit here. Come, boy. Okay. Oh, there's a nice case. There is a watch type battery. I'm going to figure out how that goes in and where. Okay, this is something brand new. I have never seen something like this before. And I'm really glad that Sony made something like this. Uh, but apart from being a fantastic vlogging hand grip, it is also a tripod. So you can put this right here. All right, yeah, baby. Oh my God. I mean, literally the first picture you're gonna see me making is a picture of the iPhone on a tripod. Okay, this is beautiful. I love how tiny and compact it is. It's fantastic. The weight is just nice. It is just right. Um, and of course, the big deal is for the first time, Sony is doing a flip articulating screen, which means the screen comes out and it flips. That's right. So when I'm not using it, I can literally just close the screen and uh, you know, the the display basically doesn't get any scratches or something like that. So there's your jog dial here, which basically helps you navigate the menu, etc. Function keys, menu, playback, delete, and of course other configurable uh, keys and buttons here. Um, so let me oh oh the minute you open the lcd display the camera just gets turned on you saw that right so this horse horse shoe this hot shoe cover uh, can be taken out and uh, the dead cat windscreen because it's got a three-way microphone here uh, or three microphones set up here which basically catches fantastic audio and this goes in here so that it masks the sound of wind or the kind of construction sound that's there. And I'm literally just gonna make my first video. The good thing is there's a nice big bold red button here for video. So here we go. <laughs> first ever video on the Sony RX. I, I've got to stop calling this Rx. Sony ZV1, my brand new vlogging camera setup. And oh my God, it's been ages since I have done any kind of vlogging or video content creation like this. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my God, I can see the eye tracking focus in action and the background blur. Okay, I'm gonna be tripping out on this a while. This is fantastic. In fact, I could just keep it here and this could be my 
vlogging setup. Oh my God, this is so cool. So yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm extremely pleased with myself uh, having chosen the ZV1. So the main reason I chose this over, let's say something like an iPhone 12, 12 Pro is uh, the cost. The iPhone 12 Pro is ridiculously expensive, about 35,000 rupees more expensive compared to what it's available at in Nepal, uh, not in Nepal, in Dubai or any other country. And um, it's still a phone. So the kind of optical quality that I'm looking for, for a phone, it's the best phone video camera. But uh, just optically, if this is much better video quality at a much lesser price, practically half of the iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max, then why wouldn't you go for it? Um, that's a big reason. And I absolutely love Sony's optics considering I've been a Sony RX100 Mark III user. So, this was a rather unexpectedly long video, but uh, over the next few weeks, months, um, expect a lot of vlogs or content that's been created on the ZV-1. Uh, the eye tracking focus is amazing. There is a product showcase mode in case you haven't seen that already, which basically switches focus between my face and a product that I may be holding in my hand. There is background defocus, there is skin softening. There are so many cool video features. And frankly, I just can't wait to hold this and uh, walk the streets of Bangalore and terrorize people with the sight of me doing this. Uh, this is fantastic. Well done, Sony. Well done. Tofu is uh, busy playing and destroying things, but uh, hopefully in the next video, you'll get to see Tofu. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching this. And if you have any questions, Feel free to write to me, considering how this baby is going to be with me now. Um, I'll check it out and whatever answers you may need on this camera, I'm happy to help you with it. Thanks for watching this and uh, happy to uh, be creating content again uh, this way. Really, really stoked about it. Please don't ask me what phone to buy. I've stopped caring. Really, genuinely, seriously. I don't care about smartphones. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, happy holidays, happy festivities, and happy new year.